The wizard optimization feature of GMB Crush help you to compare your chosen MyGMB listing and see how it stacks up against the top businesses dominating a local three-pack. The goal here is to gain all hidden SEO insights without having to do all the manual work so that when creating an optimization plan for your team clients or potential customers, they will know exactly what needs to be done. Are you ready? Let's go. The top section of each wizard document allows you to generate a shareable link report that expires in seven days, associate your pitch deck proposal with the audit, and get instant insights into SEO score, a detailed summary of your targeted keywords, location, and device, determining immediately which listings are claimed, and much more. The first section of the audit document analyzes the primary and the additional categories used by your competitors, as well as their ranked order. This information provides you with a detailed category list for each listing that is dominating the local three pack, and you'll find our recommendation for how best to optimize your listing categories in the About This section. In the Find Your Category Opportunities section, GMB Crush will show which primary and additional categories you are already including to your listing. If any of the categories from the additional category section fail to fit with what's necessary for business purposes, then click to delete, and the GMB Crush algorithm will automatically adjust accordingly. Let's now a closer to the three pack category overview. The goal here is to understand why a certain cluster of categories association works best in relation not only with the business listing, but also when it comes down content on your website. In fact, each category must be mirroring the list or services provided by you so that both business listings and websites are perfectly mirrors one another's, meaning they have matching information about what products or services you offer as well. We recommend that you do not change often any of the categories on your listing, as this can lead to listing verification. Act wisely. In terms of content, what would be an appropriate way for you to work with this is to mention both primaries and additional categories to your home page, location pages, as well as within the business description, GMB posts, GMB pages when describing what products or services you offer plus the location details. We recommend you to collect the primary and additional categories as well as top related searches of these terms. The first 300 words of your home page and location near me pages should mention the primary and all the additional categories plus any other relevant co-occurrence keywords. Create a page on your website that provides information about each of the additional categories you add. Make it clear which services are offered in which areas, how customers can reach out to book an appointment or purchase something. You should always include primary and additional category mentions into 1. Your business description 2. The queue and a section of your listing 3. Your business post content 4. Each location page of your website. 5. The content of the free Google business website. The business categories are describing your company's identity and each category represents a tier one of information. To ensure a comprehensive end result, be sure to create more granular details that match them up accordingly. In addition, don't stuff unrepresentative information in there if it doesn't fit with what is going on at the business. In the next training episode, we will analyzing the business attributes section and how to get that perfect data out of it. See you on the next video.